Hey, 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 what's up, fellas? Been a while since I made a video, man. Been busy. Trying to get ready for the season. Spring's coming up. But all right, man, we got an easy go TXT here series. This old metalist, because it got the 90 bo the, the metal bodies. We got to be a 94 or 95. It's a 94. 1294. All right, I'm going to just show you how everything goes. I've done a survey about the harnesses. All right, man, let's get right to the point. No bullshitting. Let's get it done. First thing we're going to do, as always, we're going to, first thing you always do, man, I don't give a damn if you just put the batteries in or you think they're good, first thing you always do is check battery voltage, all right? If not, you will regret it, because there will be a couple of times when you check battery voltage and you think, you assume it's good, and guess what, it ain't. So main negative here, 36 volt, main positive here. When you hit the gas, I got it on. All right, we're going to both DC 200. I had it on 600. All right, check the main positive, main negative. 37 volt, hit the gas. Don't drop below 31, 32, so you're good. All right. Next thing you want to do is <coughs> black lead on main negative. When you're solenoid, your solenoid here, you got a red wire, which is the hot side. Black wire is the ground. What we're going to do here, the, the wire there looks, um, we're going to check your re-switch. This is an old style, it don't have a re-switch, but normally there's a re-switch that runs from this micro switch uh, to the main, to, to over there to the charger plug, but we're, we're just, they have it bypassed. So we're going to check voltage here, black lead main negative. Black lead on the main negative, and then we're going to check this damn voltmeter possessed. <laughs> All right, make sure we got battery voltage. We have battery voltage there when you put it in forward. Over here, son. When you put it in forward, the voltage you're going to cross from this micro switch, this micro switch. All right, go back and back up. All right, you can see I got it in forward there. I'm going to put it in neutral. Black lead main negative, red lead back on the blue wire. You see I have nothing. When I put it back and forward, the blue wire carries over. You got voltage, all right? <clears throat> and then from there, you have a green wire and a blue wire, all right? The blue wire feeds your key switch. The green wire is a return from your key switch. I'm going to unplug the green wire, stick my red lead inside of it, Put my black lead back on the main negative, and I'm gonna turn the key off. All right, key off, key on. All right, so you got, so you, that there shows you the key switch works. So we're gonna plug the green wire back in. You see we're plugging the green wire back into each other. And then we're going to um, check the solenoid. <clears throat> Make sure the solenoid is getting voltage. All right. Black lead main negative. And then you see on the solenoid, you got red two red wires. That's your hot side. And when you hit the gas, you should get battery voltage. All right, when you hit the gas, you got battery voltage. And now the car don't run because that wire is loose. Hold on. trying to make a video so I'm just gonna tighten it up by I don't recommend tightening it by this unless you got to being the mechanic do what you can all right and then we're gonna go back here now we're gonna go to black lead main negative red lead on the red small post on the solenoid hit the gas you got battery voltage and battery went dead that quick it was just 35 all right so the battery went dead that quick all right so what we're gonna do there we're just gonna check each battery individually now the car barely runs. So we're going here. That's another wire is bad. 6 2. I'm, I'm hitting the gas. Tell me your son. All right, 6 2 on that battery. And we're just going to continue battery to battery. Now I'm hitting the gas as it goes on. 6 2. And we just can't move it. Got screws in it. And we're going to keep checking, keep checking each battery. 6 2. 
62. All right, let's take it here again. When you hit the gas, 29 volts. All right, so that's it. I'm glad this happened, man, because this is a common problem. The people overlook. So what I'm going to so do now, I'm going to tighten that one up. Tighten that one up. What I'm gonna do is keep I'm gonna keep checking over. I'm gonna leave my main positive here. Or you're gonna keep moving over battery bolt and see where the problem drops. I must have a bad wire or something. Six should be 12. Should be 18. Should be 24. There it goes. Alright, so we have a problem. Alright, card moves. Alright, so we got a problem in this area right here. Try it again. Alright, so there we go, man. That, I'm glad that happened, man, because I can teach y'all how to check each battery individual. So that actually worked out good, man. Alright. So the problem there was a bad another wire loose. Alright, we're going back over here where we was at about three hours ago. The initial problem. I'm glad it happened. That's rare, man. You don't hardly get to show customers, show people that, man, because it happens very far and few between. Alright. So then we're gonna check them. If you ever change the solenoid, man, do away with this diode right here. Do away with a diode. It's just for lightning or power service. It won't short nothing out. But it ain't really, in my opinion, it ain't worth shit. Um, if you ever do put it back on, make sure the silver line goes toward the positive side. Because if you flip it around, you'll burn up. You'll burn your mic switch on the floorboard. All right. So we're going to check your cylinder voltage here. Red lead on the positive, which is two red wires. Make sure you can see, son. And then black lead here. All right, go back to the controller. I mean, that. All right, then you're going to hit the gas. And you can see you got back, you have battery voltage. All right, so then we're going to black lead here. <clears throat> and now when this clicks and you get battery voltage here, that means the micro switch and the floorboard is good. So now we're going to check the ITS, which is like a pedal position sensor, but it's called an inductive throttle sensor, or it's called an ITS. It's a little uh, black thing in the floorboard. It's got a hole in it and it works off a piece of a metal rod being magnetized. Um, what we're gonna see here, you got the black lead, black lead on main negative, the red lead inside the black wire. When you hit the gas, it ought to show 14 volts. Let me just run it again. All right, there you go. Shows four, when you hit the gas, it shows 14 volts right away. Now the white wire here, when you hit the gas, it ought to go up to 1.5 in full pedal. You can see when I hit the gas, it goes up. It should show 1.5 volts DC at full pedal. All right. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna test the solenoid now. <clears throat> Black lead, main negative. This is your hot side of the solenoid. Jump this out here. Come over, come over, come over. All right, you got a black lead on the main negative. And then we're going to put black lead on the main negative. Then we're going to check the battery voltage here in the solenoid. Back up the meters, huh? And you see there you got battery voltage. When you hit the gas, voltage crosses over the, the big post from here to this side here. The big post, it comes from this side, goes to this side when you hit the gas. Now it shows battery voltage now, man. Don't worry about it. Hold on, hit the gas yet. It shows battery voltage now. A lot of people ask, was well, that bad? Nah, it's just static voltage, man, because it really is no load. So it's not gonna hurt nothing at all. All right, when you hit the gas, Right, you'll see voltage is consistent with this side. Hold it down a little bit. 37.6. 37.6 consistent. All right, so then what you want to do there is you want to leave the red lead on your positive here because it comes from the solenoid and goes straight up to the controller. All right, so what you want to do there is this is your B negative, this is your M negative. So you want to... <coughs> About an aggravating piece of shit meter. Yeah, 
Y'all will probably see a new meter next time. I'm about to throw this one. <laughs> All right, then you got, like here said, B positive, B negative, M negative. All right, right now you're just going to check when you hit the gas, make sure you have voltage going into the controller. Like, like I said, it shows static voltage now. There's no load, so ignore it. All right, when you hit the gas, you get a little more. All right, you see you got battery voltage there. All right, now what you want to do now, this is your output. As long as you got all voltage here, this is your M negative, motor negative pretty much. You're going to, it's feeding across the B negative post to the M negative post. So you're going to take your red lead, put on your B positive on the controller, which is the outside near the body. You're going to put the black lead of the meter <clears throat> on M negative on the controller. When you hit the gas, the farther you go down with the gas, the more voltage you'll put out. All right, so wide open, you should get battery voltage. Half throttle, you'll probably get half battery voltage. So right now, we're going to hit it. And you can see, keep on. All right, let's do it again. And you can see the farther we go down with it. Let's come up with a triangle. Now we're talking. All right. Red lead on B plus on the controller. Your black lead here on M negative. When you hit the gas, you hit the gas a little bit. Must be a bad test lead or something. Do it again. Technical difficulties. This is live now. We're doing live. We ain't doing no editing, so you'll see us <laughs> struggling to get the meter to work. So the stuff you, mechanic so if, don't want you to see. So if you want to, man, send me a free meter, man. I'll take it. Actually, <laughs> I don't need no meter, man. Send me some drill bits. I need them more than anything. All right, guys. What the fuck? It ain't reading right now. Here you go. There you go. Must have, must have even had a good connection there. Here you go. It again, yeah, the meter messing up, man. Cause it should show. All right, man. When the meter's messing up, so I'm, I'm just gonna when you hit the gas, red lead here, black lead here, it should show battery voltage at full throttle. All right, if you don't get battery voltage there, you probably got a bad controller or a bad itch in the floorboard. On my other videos, I have another video on how to check the full and reverse board. Uh, my meter's messing up on this one, man, so I can't do it. Um, but all right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post some more videos, man. Hey, hey, hey.